Hi everyone, George Belville here. I'm a realtor in Maryland and I'm making this video because I want to talk about what happens at the walkthrough before closing. So if you haven't bought a house before, uh, closing is when you actually go and the funds are transferred and you sign all the paperwork. The walkthrough is for the buyer right before closing to make sure everything is okay. So the way the contract is written in Maryland, the house has to be broom clean, free of trash and debris, and in substantially the same condition as it was when you wrote the contract, which thankfully I've never had to go to court and argue over what substantially the same condition means because that's kind of a vague term. But generally houses are very in very good shape, clean, almost spotless, because most people take pride in their house and they want the new buyer to walk into a clean house. Not always. So what happens at the walkthrough is, uh, before I talk about the process, when to do the walkthrough for me, we like to do the walkthrough immediately before closing. I don't like there to be a gap between the walkthrough and closing because something could happen during that gap. And it's only happened a couple times to me, but I've, we've had some limbs fall, some water leaks, things like that, that happened in that period between the walkthrough and closing. So my preference is to do the walkthrough and go straight to closing and sign for the house. So back to the beginning. So at the walkthrough, you meet at the house, and what we do is basically make sure the house, you know, there's no furniture left behind, there's no trash, debris, whatever the case may be, that it's, you know, clean as is reasonable to expect. It might not always be spotless, but also to make sure that everything works. We check, we flush the toilets, we run the water, we run the hot water to make sure it works, the, the uh, oven, the stove, any anything that's supposed to work. We just double check it to make sure that it's working because sometimes things break. It, it can be you know four to six weeks between you write a contract and then go to closing, things can break. So it's that's the time to find anything that might be broken that we can then present to the seller and say, you know, hey, this isn't working, this is supposed to be working, and come up with some terms at closing that we're gonna do about that. So we go to the house, we walk through, we look around the inside, we look around the outside, and most of the time, it's a peaceful, uneventful process and everything is fine. Sometimes it's not. So sometimes the sellers will think they, the buyer might want that, which is really code for, we don't feel like getting rid of it. Old patio furniture, you know, paint cans from five shades ago that are dry and, you know, they leave them under the, under the stairs because the buyer might want them. So most of the time buyers are okay with that. It's not too bad, but, Sometimes there, there's a line where you have to say, like, this is not acceptable. You need to come and get this stuff out of here before we go to closing, which is why I like to do it immediately before. So as a seller, if there is something you want to leave behind or you think the buyers might like, before closing, talk to your agent, have your agent talk to their agent and confirm whether or not they want it. Because the last thing you want is to go to closing and not close because you had a bunch of stuff left in the house and the buyer, you know, it was too much for the buyers and they didn't want to do it, and now you've delayed everything. And that can cause a domino effect depending on what you're doing after that. So that's what happens at, as, at the walkthrough. As I said, it's, it's generally peaceful and quiet, and most people take a lot of pride in their house, and it's pristine when you go for the walkthrough, but not always. So hopefully that explains it for you. If you have any questions, give us a call. Our, if you don't have our contact info, it should be below, and have a great day.